So this would be another interesting part in our application. We've completed a number of things. We've completed list of countries. We're able to add a date delete and update country. We've completed state. We've also completed location, as you can see. So we could actually go up to accounts and work on invoices. But the problem with the invoices is invoice depends on the client. For instance, this is a completed invoice page. So when I click on add new, you can see that uh, so this is a client page, not the invoice page. So uh, let me just go back. So if I open the invoice page, invoice page, you can see that invoice depends on client. You can see clients here. And we've not actually, actually created the client page. So it's better we, instead of working on the invoices, let's work on the client page, all right? So let's work on clients instead of invoices. And later we come back to work on invoice. Again, if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenge following my classes, my lessons, please let me know in a comment box or try to reach me. I'm going to help you. Again, we are going to copy and paste from existing uh, controller and service. So let's start with building the info, the, the client service. So this is a client service is, is empty. Let's build it, build it from the location service or maybe from the state service. Let's build it from the state service maybe. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to just click on this, copy everything and paste, copy and paste. And after pasting, I'm going to change it to, I'm going to change the state to client. <coughs> Remember, it's going to be case sensitive. So you're going to check this box, this box, case uh, uh, sensitive, replace all. And I'm going to do the same thing for the lowercase of state. Change it to lowercase clients and replace all and at this point we are done with this the client service so let me save everything all right so let's now do the client's uh controller so let's go to the controller uh, package this controller package i'm going to open client controller you can see it only has this but we are going to remove it and i'm going to open state controller as well so I'm going to copy everything here and take it across. So copy this, copy and paste it right here, control V. And as usual, change all the lowercase states to lowercase clients. Control X change to clients and just replace all and do the same thing for state uppercase, control F and change it to clients and just replace all okay close all right so we build the controller we build the service but take note that it's possible that let me just delete okay it's possible that we may need to sign something across to client so let's look at the client model to see if there is a related object that we may have to sign across uh to the page maybe that's is going to fill up the dro a drop down I think I can just look at it on the page I already have. So here we have a uh, new client. So new client, oh, this is not client, this is invoice. Let's go to people. Sorry, let me just go back a bit. Uh, people, clients. If I go to new client, so we have to sign the state and the country along with client, right? We need to sign the state and the country along with the client. So I think uh, if I go to, okay, let me just, okay, here I'm sending the country. So let me just also do the same thing with the state. So let me just control V and just change the country service here to the state, state service. And here is going to be state service as well. Okay, so we have state service, state service, and then we are going to pass the state service across uh, in the model. So I'm going to just copy this and paste it and change it. Meanwhile, just to teach you how to write, make the code shorter, instead of having these two items, I can just take this, copy it, and use it to replace this so that I can have everything in one line. So I can now get rid of this, and I can do the same thing with clients, copy this, copy, Use it to replace this and everything is in one line. So model the attributes. Okay, so let's do the same thing for states. I'm going to copy, 
space and this time I'm gonna call it states and it's gonna be state service dot get states if all right so save everything uh, save so we build the controller we build the the the, the model we build the service and let's now go to the page so in case of clients, you see that we have two columns. So if I show you the, the one I did, you have two columns. Two columns is easy. I simply you have a table of two columns and then you create the same thing we did before. One set of rows in one column and the other one in the, in the other column. So I'm going to actually uh, do it right now. So let's go to... Let's go to the template and open the client.html page and let's scroll down to the body where we are actually going to place the table. So, um, so let's scroll down. Scroll down. Okay, yeah, good. So we have see we have here a list of countries, we have page start and page end. So this is where we need to implement the table that we are going to be using. Uh, so again, we are going to copy and paste, but this time I already have it written out. So the table is the same format with all every other table we've been doing for location for states and for and for, for location for states and for uh, for for country. All of them have the same format. All right. Okay, so we have from page start to page end, I'm going to paste what should be in there. So basically we are pasting the table and you can actually do this yourself, uh, create this table, but since we've done a number of them, let's just copy and paste and then adjust everything. All right, so uh, this is the, pay, the, the, the table. Uh, this is from table to slash table and what I want to display on the table, as I can show you here, I want to display the, 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 the name of the client, the website, the email, the city, and the phone, and we have different actions here. So that is exactly what I just did, just like we've been doing before. All right, so the next thing is that we need to add the models. So the first thing I want to add is the add model. Now, the add model is going to have two columns, uh, two columns, and if you want, you can make it one, but I think it's better, uh, it, it is two columns. So let me paste the add model and then I explain it to you. Basically, it's the same models we normally copy from the Bootstrap website. All right, so we are going to paste it in between the container ends. So this is the add model for, for, for clients. So if I kind of collapse this, let me collapse this. Let me collapse this as well. Okay. Or maybe I'll just collapse this table row. Okay, good. So I have so we have this table, we have this slash table, and we have one row and two columns. You can see TD slash TD. Okay, so for each of these columns, you can set the width to 50. I already have the HTML, uh, this complete code, you already have it. You can go to 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 part one, to part one of this series and and see how you can get all these files so that you'll be able to check what you are doing. All right, so we have the add model. This is add model. And then I'm going to also uh, paste because I also have the edit model done. So the edit model is about the same thing with the add model, except that the name of the, the ID of the model is edit model. And then the names the names of the of the controls or the names of the test field, for instance, we have address, we have name address, the name remains the same, but the ID is going to change. So I use TST, TXT address add, and the edit, I'm gonna use TXT address edit. So that is the, 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 the convention I normally use uh, here. So let me paste for the edit. So this is for the edits. Uh, this is for the edit, and the caption says edit client record, in, and we have the, the ID of the model is edit model. All right, so and um, finally, I'm going to just paste the delete model, all right? So I'm going to paste the delete model as well. 
So the delete model goes here. So basically it's the same thing. Uh, I can actually call this instead of calling it direct, let me call it confirm confirm delete botting. Let's confirm delete botting. And if I go up to the table, let's just make sure the bottings are named correctly. So here you have you have the edit botting, the details botting, and the delete botting. So the next thing we want to do now is the JavaScript. So let's go to the static folder and go to the JS folder. And we don't have client. So let's copy our country maybe and use it to create the client. Let me copy country and paste. Control uh, paste. And I'm going to call it client. Client.js. All right. Okay, so we have clients.js and I'm going to open it so that we just work on it. So to work on it, you need to check what fields you have in the client model. So if we go to the client model, have the address, the city, da 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 da, da and you need to use it to uh, update this. All right, so we have description, capital, code. You need to change it, change all of these to, to match what you have here. And then make sure that the IDs, which is selected with the hash key, starting with the hash key, like which is the selector, correspond to what we have on the edit model. So we have txt ID edit, txt name edit, should correspond to uh, this in this case. We have txt ID edit, txt ID edit, and the same thing you do, txt name edit. And you do it for all the fields uh, right here in the in the in the form. So since I already did it, I'm simply going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy and paste. So when I say txt, that's just also a convention I use. So I'm going to I'm going to paste. This is the complete code for client. So you have all this. For you, I recommend you type it out yourself because the more you type, the clearer it becomes to you. Now, the details, we've not talked so much about it, but for now, I added it. You can actually remove the details, but maybe you can just leave it because we are talking about edit and delete for now. We've not talked so much about the details. And finally, uh, we are going to go back to the client.html and make sure that the 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 script is added. You can see here we have JS, da, da, da. We don't have the script for client. So let's just copy this and then paste it and then uh, rename to slash client. So the script that runs the client uh, page is a client.js. Clients, clients.js. So at this point, we are just good to go. I'm going to fire up this application or rerun this application and let's see what we have. So hopefully we don't have an error and we should be able to move on to something else to maybe um, invoices or, or, or something else. All right, so Tomcat started on port 8080 and I'm going to go to, this is list of, uh, talking about clients, so please let me just go back here. Okay, so this is our dashboard, and I'm going to go to people. I'm going to go to clients, and we have clients here. So if I say new, we can add a number of things. Let's say uh, whatever. Let me add the name of the client to be Datamatics, and the details for South Africa website, kind of engineer.com address. And the states, so the states are listed here, and the country is also listed here. Uh, mobile, I can just add anything. All right, so whatever the email uh, is okay. So uh, ID, when you're adding, you don't need an ID. So just click on save. Okay, so the email is not, the email of uh, uh, the format is not correct, uh, gmail.com. So I'm going to save, and hopefully everything worked. It added perfectly. Uh, you can go ahead to add another one, but we can also try to edit. So if I edit, I can actually change from West Africa to, to East, East, East Europe. Uh, 
uh, okay, so um, change the website to ktg.com and I'm gonna save. Okay, so you see the website changed to kcg.com and everything is just fine. Details, we've not worked on it, we've not talked about it, and I think the lead is also working perfectly well. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'm going to stop here for now, and then the next part, we can now go back to work on invoices. So remember, subscribe if you've not subscribed. Let me know if you have challenges, and also make sure you go to part one to follow this course uh, completely.